Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be reviewing and doing a flip through of the brand new language arts literature from The Good and the Beautiful and comparing it with Simply K from Master Books. So if you would like to see a comparison of these, stick around, it's gonna be good. <laughs> Grab a cup of coffee and let's get into it. Alright you guys, so I'm going to be doing a, a full um, review and flip through for you guys and then towards the end of the video I am going to have kind of like a, um, a card that will have like everything for master books on one side and everything for the good and the beautiful on the other so then that way you know you can pause the video you can take a screenshot and maybe that can help you make your decision if you're struggling with which um, curriculum to use. Now, this review is not to say that one curriculum is better than the other or anything like that. It's just to give you facts of what this one goes over, what that one goes over, the price, the time that it should take, and, you know, all of that. Um, you know, each child is different, and they learn different, and it's a beautiful thing. And it's beautiful that we have different curriculums for different learning needs and styles in children. So um, this is not to bash one over the other or anything like that. Um, I do have a comparison review that I just did on Masterbooks and the Good and the Beautiful um, Math for Kindergarten. I will link that video down below if you're interested in checking that out and I will link it up in a card up here towards the end of the video. And one more thing, if um, because I think this review might end up being a little long, I am going to have timestamps down in the description bar. So if there's something specific that you want to see, like the pros and the cons or just the flip through or whatever, um, you can check that out and then just kind of hop around and all that if you don't want to watch it from beginning to end. Now let's talk price. So Masterbooks is $35.99 on their website. It comes with an ABC chart, ABC flashcards, 26 mini books, and weather and emotion photos located in the back of the book. Uh, the Good and the Beautiful is $69.99. It comes with their course book. It comes with their Reading Booster A cards. And it comes with a Reading Booster book set. Um, if you guys have been following me for a little bit, you know that I purchased the old The Good and the Beautiful Language Arts Kit because um, it was 50% off. So, you know, why not? But... Um, so I'm not going to be using this one, I'm just, I printed it out to show you guys, so I didn't print out the book set, you won't be able to see that in this review. This pack, if you buy the hard copies, it is $69.97 on their website, or you can get it for free as PDFs on their website for grades. I still, I believe it's still from K to 5 is free for language arts and math. So that is a wonderful blessing. Now um, I'm going to turn the video or the camera around <laughs> so we can do a flip through and go over, you know, how, how long each lesson should take, the pros and the cons, what the learning objectives are, and, um, you know, all that. All right, you guys, so we are going to start with Masterbook Simply K flip through. Um, I will be talking about how long it's going to take for each lesson, how long it will take overall as a program, the pros and the cons, and anything else I think it is important to know for you guys when choosing this curriculum. Now, um, <clears throat> one thing I want to mention at the very beginning is that when you go to Masterbook's website and you click on homeschool curriculum and then you go to kindergarten and you click language arts, this is the book that comes up. Now, um, and y that little spiel right there will be important to know later on. <laughs> now, um, this is a Charlotte Mason themed curriculum. It is biblically based, so you will find religion throughout and Bible scriptures and talk about God throughout the curriculum. It is a uh, 36 week long curriculum. It is designed to do three days a week, and when I broke that up between multiple lessons, that ends up being eight to 12 pages a week, or th and three to five pages per day. 
Now, they say that these lessons should take about 20 minutes, not to include games or cooking, but depending on the child and how many pages and how much reading there is for mom or dad, I can see this taking a little longer than 20 minutes. If it were me and my daughter, and um, yeah, I would assume 30 minutes, if the day is kind of hard, maybe 40 minutes, but I mean, every child is gonna be different. Some kids might just zoom past this. Now, um, I do think that, let me go back a little bit. I do think that the scope and sequence design is really lovely. It's very clear, direct, and to the point. It talks about um, every single thing you're gonna do in the first week so this is the letter you're going to focus on they have worked life skills into this so you're going to be going over certain skills they're going to do rhymes you're going to have bible work so and then you have a due date right here so if you are in a state where you have to keep meticulous records you know maybe you have a certain day requirement to me or certain hours or whatever the case may be you can kind of use this as your record keeping, which I think is a really nice touch. Now, um, day one on each different lesson, we'll start with a Bible verse. And then um, as the week progresses, you'll learn life skills such as weather, emotions, senses, personal information like uh, your name, your birthday, your address, mom's phone number. Um, you'll learn budgeting, they'll learn hygiene, they'll learn how to tie their shoes. So I think it gives a lot of really great prompts on some of the life skills that, you know, sometimes as homeschoolers, or at least me, uh, you can get so focused on book work and extracurriculars and um, you know, just all of the different fun things that you can work into learning that sometimes you forget, you know, oh, I haven't taught my kid how to tie their shoes. <laughs> so the fact that you have that little prompt, I think that's a really nice touch. It also has coloring pages. So, I mean, they're five to six, like they love to color. So I think it's really nice to have um, different ways to engage your child through each lesson. It also will teach the Ten Commandments as you progress into the book. You get a supply list at the beginning of every week letting you know what you need um, just to have. There's also objectives, there's what memory verse you're going to be working on, extended activities, and then here's the supply list right here. Now, some of the cons would be, for me anyway, uh, sight words. They're not introduced within the text until weeks 27 to 36. And even then, it's not an everyday thing and it's not in every lesson between those weeks. The uh, mini books are not always easy either. And I will show you guys at the end what I'm talking about with the mini books. Now, um, as we're progressing into more of the book, the reason why I mentioned that this is what comes up for their language arts is you can see that um, they do have some tracing for the alphabet and they do have occasional words. Let me try to find some for you guys. But it's not a learn how to read intensive curriculum. So I do think that if you were to choose Master Books Simply K, you would definitely want to pair that with Master Books Foundations Phonics. We have used that curriculum. I have a whole review on it as well, which I will link down below in the description bar in case you wanted to see that. If um, you were to use this one, I would definitely recommend to have that curriculum paired with this one. The lessons in it are short. Some are shorter than others. Um, some might just feel a little long on the hard days, but um, 
you're definitely going to want to use both if your goal is for your child to read by the end of kindergarten or at least have those those reading um you know foundational skills instilled by the end of kindergarten my uh, five-year-old she's constantly seeing my eight-year-old read so that is one of her goals and therefore that is something that we are trying to work very hard on now um, with that said if you were to do both curriculums each one is $35.99 so that would be around the same price that you're gonna pay for the hard copies of the good and the beautiful talks about having a fire escape plan and what to do in case of a fire. And one thing I forgot to mention was each time you go over lesson one for the day with your Bible verse, it gives you hand motions to make with your child. So then that way it helps them to memorize the verse a little faster, which I thought was really be a be really beautiful way to work in um, learning scripture. That's something that we do in um, classical conversations and my kids have really loved like the little hand motions and things like that. I'm not sure if the hand motions that are in here are American Sign Language, but the ones that we use in classical conversations are. You guys now we are at the end of master books um, there are some book suggestions and then here are the teacher resources so it talks to you about letter tracing and the mini books it gives you some more resources and then here are the mini books now um, the only it is nice because you can cut these out I do wish that they had an option where they could just be sent to you just for the people who don't enjoy cutting these out, especially since there's going to be one for every letter of the alphabet. Um, as you can see, let me pull it a little closer. These are not like easy beginner words. I mean, there's astronaut, antelope, baby would be an easier word, bicycle, I just feel like their word choices for the beginning reader books, especially since this isn't a labor intensive curriculum, I feel like the word choices should have been a little easier and um, 
you know, because, I mean, like, there's avocado. And, I mean, ant is a perfect word. Ball is a perfect word. Bat is a perfect word. But when you don't have kind of more rigorous curriculum and then introducing kind of rigorous words, I feel like it's a little bit of a disservice. I mean, eggplant, envelope. And these are all words that kids need to know. And I'm not saying, like, oh, I have this education degree and this is, you know just how it's done or how it shouldn't be done or anything like that. I'm just saying as a mom who's homeschooling and teaching her child to read, I already know that my child, she can sound out dog, especially with all the information that's, you know, I've seen in here. But I don't know if this book would have prepared her well enough to do envelope or astronaut, you know? So I hope that makes sense. And it's not a diss on master books. Um, like I said, I don't have a degree in education. I have a degree in science. <laughs> so, I mean, maybe there are reasons for this. I mean, all of these words to me look like words that she would be able to sound out without any problems. And I do think that they should have some challenging words. It just, you know, when it's the very first letter of the alphabet and you're already jumping into the challenging words, but not setting up your curriculum in that way, it just... Um, that's that's my one and only con about the books. Other than that, they look beautiful. They look very like direct and to the point. Um, it looks like it's more set up to read kind of like sight word instead of reading sentences. <laughs> Alright you guys, so just like the master books um, flip through, this is going to be the start of the flip through for The Good and the Beautiful. Now um, I'm going to be discussing the pros and the cons to this curriculum and about how long it is expected to take. One thing that I want to start out um, showing you guys is that this book will cover phonics, writing, reading, grammar, and punctuation, spelling, literature, geography, and art. So they pack a lot into this curriculum and it is both frightening and exciting. <laughs> now when you first open it, they do have like a little mini assessment that shows all of the ABCs. Your child is supposed to know the phonics of them as well as be able to identify what is uppercase and what is lowercase. Then they have an items needed sheet and then a continuation of that. They have some recommended readers. The beginning of the book is really like for um, parent information. And then they advertise their letter tiles app as well as um, there's another page that advertises that other app. I will see if I can find it and point that out to you guys. But um, You'll want to make sure that you have both apps prior to starting this curriculum because it'll give you little prompts throughout on when it's time to use something from that app. I don't see it, but it's there. <laughs> Just trust. Now, um, we will go into the table of contents. They have um, it designed, so instead of it being done as like a per week what you're going to cover, they do it per day. So lesson 11, they'll do reading CVC words plus the S of the end or at the end. And then um, lesson 16, they'll cover spelling three letter words part two and it progresses in that way. Now, this goes over everything that your child will be learning. It is quite a lot, so I'm not going to bother reading everything, but I will be hitting some of the big points as we move throughout the flip through. They are encouraged to have the handwriting book with this curriculum as well, which is sold separately. Um, and they're supposed to write in it, I think it said three times a week. 
Now, this is the first lesson. Isn't this lovely, you guys? This is such a beautiful photo. I totally just hit my camera. But um, I thought that that was lovely. And they work in a lot of beautiful pictures into this. Now, don't mind my tabs here. I just have those to show you guys um, specific things. But the two apps that I mentioned are free to download and use. One of the really nice things about that app is that when you click on kindergarten, it has um, it has some of the books that are audio books. So you can throw that on while maybe you're doing dishes and that way your child can um, listen to the book while they eat lunch or eat, they eat breakfast. And, you know, it's just one thing taken off of your plate. Now, uh, they do work in poems, so I thought that was really lovely. I wanted to point that out. Um, they do a lot of poem memorization within this text, as well as art studies, as you can see. Look at it. And that's from my printer, you guys. That's, that's beautiful. I feel like I should print some of their <laughs> photos and just hang them on my wall. Now, um... It does give you parent read aloud prompts at the beginning or at in every lesson. So each day that you do a lesson, you're going to have a prompt to read, um, read alouds to your child. Now, they will also work on comparing items as well as sorting. They will cover emotions, but... Um, just because we haven't used this yet, I'm not quite sure how rigorous going over emotions is. I did not see any life skills like master books had. They do cover vowels, consonants, high frequency words, CVC words, uh, irregular words. They start with one letter words for the child to read and then it moves up to three letter words. And then um, they're also given spelling words to work on and they eventually progress to reading short sentences. They do have some fill in the blank words and sentences as well, which I thought was really cool. Like right here. Now, this does incorporate um, occasional art projects as well, which I know is always fun for the little ones to do. They do have reviews and reading assessments that are found throughout the book, so you can constantly just check and see like, you know, that your child is progressing and what things you may need to work on. This is one of the art projects that I was mentioning. You guys can see that. Now there are also stories within the text that are highlighted red and those are um, indications for words that your child will need to read. So you read most of the story and then whatever words are in red your child would read. And then there are, as they read stories throughout the text, um, you're also encouraged to have them narrate them back to you just so you can test their reading comprehension. And one of the last things that I can think to mention is that it covers punctuation. So I really like that because I'm not a writer by nature. So, um, you know, just growing up, I struggled with punctuation. Here. Um, one thing that I do want to stop here and mention is that they also go over the difference of B and D and it's covered in four different parts throughout the book. And so if you have little ones that might get um, confused when they see B and they think it's oh duh duh or you know vice versa, I think that that's really nice that they specifically cover this and not just in one or two places but in four different ones.
right now some of the cons uh, I have I'm not gonna lie I have not completely read every single word that this curriculum holds because you know I just printed it I wanted to do a most up-to-date review for you guys where you can compare master books with this and see what works best for your family so I went through it pretty well but I didn't read every single thing. Now with that said, <laughs> um, I didn't really see any scripture mem like memorization or scripture reading. Um, I saw like one story that briefly mentioned God's name, but not much more than that. It seems like everything else is very, very um, just basic and kind of more on, I don't want to say the secular side, but they just, they don't mention it. So if that is something that is important to you, where it's worked within the text, um, that might be something to consider. Now, if I am wrong in my assessment, please comment below with, um, you know, if you think that it really is a, a good strong solid <laughs> biblical curriculum or if like me you didn't really see a lot of bible mentionings going on within the text now um one thing that i also mentioned previously as kind of being like a con would be that there's not really a lot of life skills worked in the way that master books does it now, um, I do think that with, you know, how little they are and how we are equipping them with foundational skills like tying their shoes and, you know, washing their hands and brushing their teeth and knowing their name and birthday, I do think that it is important for curriculums that are geared towards this age to work those things in. But, I mean, that's neither here nor there. You also can't make a literature or a language arts curriculum something that it's not. And, you know, that's when you can do a life skills curriculum and kind of, you know, supplement in those ways. So that is just something to keep in mind that it's not something it's not. <laughs> but, um... You know, those are things that you will need to work in, in addition to, at some point, with this curriculum. Now, um, one of the things that I also want to mention is, if you are going to print this curriculum, make sure that you are being very, very careful so you don't have any printer mishaps, because I had one, where did it go? Let me go back real quick. So I believe this page was supposed to print with this being the back side. So then when you go to cut it on the perforated lines, um, you know, you can do that nicely, but instead it printed on this side. So at one point my computer, like the paper got jammed and it was a thing. So I cleaned it out, but I think it, when it restarted, it just, it might've printed something double that I just missed. So I just wanted to rec or let you guys know that. So if you're printing curriculum, be careful. So now I just wanted to show you guys real quick what the Reading Booster A cards look like. So it does say that prior to starting the entire course, you should have certain cards mastered beforehand. 
So you'll want to have the alphabet mastered. You'll want to have the short vowels. You'll want to have consonants. More consonants. Blending two letters. And finally blending two letters part two. So you'll want to have these things mastered prior to starting so then it helps your child to not feel frustrated once they're, you know, kind of just thrown into the middle of it. So it says blending to read CVC words. And then one thing that I like, it says on two different days, have the child read each line of the reading triangles starting at the top. And I like how they have this pyramid for it. Let me see if I can focus it a little better. Because what you can do is you can take like another piece of paper. So if your child gets overwhelmed with reading or, you know, sees this whole thing and they're like, oh my gosh, I can't do it. Then you can take a piece of paper and just say, okay, what's that word? And then, okay, what are those two words? And then, you know, you just add one word in at a time or two words in at a time instead of it being this, I have to read this whole pyramid and that's a little overwhelming. So I think that that's really cool how they have it set up like that. Okay, I'm gonna turn the camera around now. the little cards I just posted were helpful to you. You can kind of pause it, screenshot it, and then weigh your pros and cons. Um, I do want to mention that both companies offer a free assessment on their website. So before you purchase anything, go take those assessments because uh, it'll show you, you know, if your child does, you know, fall in line with the kindergarten or maybe they, um, advance to the first level or maybe they need to review some of the preschool work prior to starting. I learned my lesson with that when um, I purchased a curriculum prior to taking the assessment so it'll save you a lot of time and heartache and headache <laughs> so go take those free assessments. Um, one really great option might even be to use the master books simply K as like a preschool curriculum and then jump into the good and the beautiful if you're still kind of unsure of which one to use. Um, I think I'm going to probably use both of them together more for like the life skills that master books gives and the scripture and then um, you know the reading that you'll get from the good and the beautiful. That's my plan anyway. I do also have a video that is uh, comparing master books math with the good and the beautiful math. So if you would like to see that because you're like, oh, I don't know which one to use, check it out. I'll post the card for it up here and link it down below in the description bar. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up, hit that red subscribe button, and I'll see you again later. Bye.